Hey guys, Ketan again. Today we are going to be solving uh, the problems from ICPC uh, Kanpur of 2019. And I have solved two problems when I, uh, when I took part in this contest. So I'll be explaining those two uh, problems. Uh, first of all, I'll do uh, the first one which is discount in a shop problem in this video. And uh, there will be a follow up video with uh, the next problem which is select training set. Alright guys, let's just jump into the problem. I have actually, I have the code with me right now. Uh, this is the solution in Python. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, first, let's go through the question and then I'll explain the code. Alright, so we got the problem code DISCSHOP. Uh, this is the problem code of CodeChef. Okay, I have a habit of asking for discounts when I'm buying something. Before you rush to call me a miser, let me tell you that I only ask for discounts if I have to pay at least 10 rupees. Since asking for a discount on something that can be paid with just a few coins is really rude. One day I was supposed to pay n rupees. Uh, yeah, guys, this is just this is just one n. Uh, when I was copying, uh, this is how it gets copied. So it's just one n. Uh, don't mind that. Okay, one day I was supposed to pay n rupees, but the shopkeeper gave me an unusual offer. He told me that I can remove one of the digits in the decimal representation of n and pay only the resulting price. I am trying to figure out the minimum price I have to pay if I choose the digits to remove optimally. Would you help me please? Note that the resulting number after removing digit is also uh, removing digit is allowed to have leading zeros. Okay. So I'll take this example and uh, example input and output and I'll explain this guys. So what we basically have to do is we are given a number and then we have to remove one digit from the number so that the resulting number is the minimum, right? We cannot get any other number which is lesser than what we got by removing any other digit. For example, like, let's take one, three, two. If we remove one from this, the remaining uh, number will be three and two, right? So three, two is 32. So that's one of the options. And then we can remove three which will give us 1, 2, which is 12. 12 is less than 32. Uh, that's second option. And then we can remove 2, which will give us 13, which is the third option. So we got 32, 12, and 13. Now we have to select the 12 and output it as our answer. Okay. It's very straightforward. So we basically have to remove only one digit so that we'll get the right answer. Okay. So yeah, I'll show you my code and how I solve this problem. Yeah, so first of all, we take the input t equals to int of input. Now, the, this is the test cases. Uh, we'll get how many test cases are there. And then we'll just run a loop uh, for the test cases and then take each uh, each in, each number as a string. Instead of taking it as a number, we're, we're taking it as a string, right? And then uh, we created an empty list named L. And we also need to find out the size of uh, the string. Now, how many characters are there in the string, right? So uh, we we are basically finding out what digit number it is. For example, 21 is two-digit two digit number, 132 is three-digit three digit number, and 104 is also a three-digit number, right? So we'll get n equal to two in the first case, and three and three in the second and third cases, right? And now we are running it through a loop. We are running uh, uh, an index i through the range n. So we are running each uh, we are running the loop each character by character in S, and also we are okay. So we are basically taking the string and removing uh, the character which is in the current index, and taking the remaining string and converting it into an integer, and then putting it into the list. So that's quite a mouthful. So let me just explain what is happening right now. Let's say we have 132, right? Now. Okay, now first in the first iteration, what happens is we uh, i is zero, right? So s of zero is one. So we don't take one, we exclude one, uh, which is done through this. this. This is string slicing. So we are taking s of zero to i, not including i, right? So now i is zero, which means this will be this will basically be an null string plus s of i plus one to uh, the ending which will be one to 
uh, in minus 1 right 1 to n basically so that will uh, exclude n which will be 1 to n so that will give us uh, it will remove the first one which will be 3 to right so uh, the when we when this gets executed we'll get 3 to inside this int uh, function right now this is in the form of string right so we need to convert it into an integer so this is basically in the string form and then it is uh, converted into an integer which will be 32 now we are appending that into the list right so that's one possibility next in the next iteration i will be 1 so s of 0 to 1 well when we put s of 0 to 1 it won't include 1 so 0 to 0 which is basically it is just taking 0 s of 0 is 1 right now this is 1 plus 1 which is 2 s of 2 to ending right now which means s of 1 is excluded which is 3 so 3 is excluded so we get 1 and 2 right so 1 2 we got 1 2 in the second iteration it is converted it is converted into an integer and then put into the list right again next one uh, we get i is 2 which is this one so we can exclude this and we get 1 and 3 right so we got 1 3 so these three are in the list right now okay now there's this really cool thing in python we can just find out the minimum value in a list if it is an integer or well basically any uh, data type which can be uh, on which we can use this operand right we, if we can check if it is greater than or not uh, we can use minimum function or maximum function so using that function we can just get the minimum of these which will be 12 so we'll get that and we'll just print it out okay guys so that's i know there are uh, like other ways to do it but this is how i did it in the contest and this is fairly simple guys so yeah it worked out uh, and i have actually solved this problem and i submitted it and it's working fine okay guys Okay, thank you for watching and if you have any doubts, please put them in the comments so that I can address them. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends so that they can also learn something. If they don't know how to solve this problem, uh, you'll be helping them a lot. And subscribe if you want to learn more stuff. And I'm not an expert in this. I'm also just uh, kind of a beginner, just trying to solve as many as I can. And yeah, documenting my journey, you could say, so that it will be helpful to others. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.